In the wake of a Trump victory in the U.S. elections, Bitcoin has pumped to new all-time highs and into the long-awaited price discovery phase with no resistance levels to tango with. On the Morales line, we can get access to at a huge discount using the link below. Bitcoin has officially flipped back into a bullish trend on the weekly, breaking that sideways summer lull we were in since past June. And as we've discussed previously together on the channel, we could teleport to $90,000 in a snap and bounce around there for a little bit before breaking the extremely psychological price point of 100k per Bitcoin. Now that the US has over 260 plus confirmed pro-crypto candidates between the President, Senate, and House of Representatives taking office soon, what should we be mindful of as crypto investors? And what ideally should the new regime do to benefit us, the country, and the world at large? Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video, we are going to explore 10 things President Donald Trump said he would do for the crypto industry, and five things he should consider doing that would benefit us all in the United States at large. Let's hit it. Please be sure to check out our sponsors, Ledger, Tangem, and Go Baby Trade. As crypto investors, we need to diversify technological risk by owning multiple and using multiple dedicated hardware wallets to secure crypto. Ledger offers premium crypto wallets with extra security layers like Ledger Stacks and Flex devices. They are the first of their kind as a new wallet category, secure touchscreen. And for our community, we get the best discount on the market that comes with $10 worth of free Bitcoin. Tangent Wallet is the most affordable and easiest crypto wallet to set up on the market right now. It's the size of a credit card, multi-currency, multi-chain, and it's perfect for beginners and advanced users alike. And diversify your investment strategy by generating profit off of the volatility of the crypto markets using Go Baby Trade, an AI-driven robotic crypto trader that connects to our Coinbase account and trades 24-7. We've been getting a ton of great feedback over the past few months, so join one of the free weekly webinars to learn more. Scroll down and use links below to redeem any special offers they all have for us. Sweet. So what is President Donald Trump going to do with regard to the crypto industry? Well, here's a nice compilation of 10 things he said he was going to do, put together in this 1.5 minute video by Altcoin Daily. Check it out. Hello, Bitcoiners. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler. I will appoint a new SEC chairman who believes America should build the future, not block the future. Upon taking office, I will immediately appoint a Bitcoin and crypto presidential advisory council. Their task will be to design transparent regulatory guidance for the benefit of the entire industry, and they will get it done in 100 days. As part of our effort to provide regulatory clarity, we will create a framework to enable the safe and responsible expansion of stable coins. I will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self-custody. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. It will be the policy of my administration, United States of America, to keep 100% of all the Bitcoin the U.S. government currently holds or acquires into the future. This will serve, in effect, as the core of the strategic national Bitcoin stockpile. Today, I repeat my pledge to commute the sentence of Ross Ulbricht to a sentence of time served. It's enough. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. Bitcoin is going to the moon, as we say, it's going to the moon. I want America to be the nation that leads the way, and that's what's going to happen. So you're going to be very happy with me. All right, great. All bullish for crypto at large. Now, what else should Trump consider doing that would benefit us in the country at large? Let's explore five things President Trump and Congress should do that would definitely help us out immensely. One dismantle the Federal Reserve. Congress has the power over the currency of the United States, including the power to coin money, create interest-free currency, and regulate its value. And it also has the power to charter banks to circulate money. So why isn't the U.S. issuing its own interest-free currency that isn't based on debt? Well, because of the corrupt ring of private global central banks. The fact that we are issuing treasury bonds, debt, that the Federal Reserve, a private central bank, buys with money it creates out of nothing, literally out of thin air, and charges us interest on it, an interest rate they decide, a power Congress also has, it's a blatant scam. In the Fed, we don't need a private central bank enslaving the country and its citizens. Two, we need to convert the US fiat currency back into an equity-based currency, similar to when it was backed by gold. Backing the US dollar with tangible assets like gold or a basket of commodities, and definitely cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, would make the currency less susceptible to inflation, fluctuations in the global financial markets, 
all while preserving the purchasing power of the dollar over time and providing a more stable store of value for savers and investors. An equity-based currency could also increase the public's trust in the financial system by providing a more transparent and tangible link between its value and underlying assets, offering some reassurance that money isn't subject to arbitrary manipulation by central banks or governments. Nice. Three, we need to dismantle corporate personhood. Corporate personhood is related to the 14th Amendment and its core principle that no person can be deprived of rights without due process of law. And the 14th Amendment was originally created to protect freed slaves after the Civil War. However, it has ended up almost entirely applying to and benefiting big corporations to the detriment of consumers and the future of the United States at large. In the 1970s, corporations managed to have money legally determined as a form of speech. And since under corporate personhood, corporations have the right to free speech, they are allowed to use money to protect their interests and influence public opinion, which has been used to challenge restrictions on advertising and lobbying. So corporations have the right to unlimited political spending, which means they can spend unlimited amounts of money to influence political outcomes. Personhood also allows corporations to assert rights to privacy, the right to sue, and the right to due process. Basically, corporate personhood created a society where corporations buy politicians to buy favorable legal and regulatory frameworks for themselves and buy consumers' attention to create a favorable society through media and advertising for generating profit. During the golden age of advertising in the 1960s, the U.S. saw a rise in mass media and consumer culture, with corporations using advertising to promote materialism and consumerism, where people are encouraged to prioritize buying and consuming goods over their own health and well-being. Ever since corporations were granted human rights and beyond, and used their rights and powers to fabricate a materialistic society based on consumption, the United States has been on the decline. By dismantling corporate personhood, Congress has the opportunity to restore greater accountability and fairness to our so-called democracy. Removing the legal fiction of corporate personhood would help reduce the outsized influence corporations have on our political process, particularly regarding campaign financing and lobbying efforts. Yeah, something Congress probably would definitely never be down with. Great. Before exploring the last two things the U.S. should do, listen up. Any crypto you're accumulating over the long term, make sure you are transferring it off of exchanges to hold securely on multiple cold storage hardware wallets. Don't keep all of your eggs in one basket when dealing with this new cutting edge, high risk technology. Tandem Wallet is a set of three wallets that work just like a set of three house keys or car keys that function as backups. It's by far the easiest crypto wallet to set up and use. It's the size of a credit card. It fits perfectly in our day-to-day -day wallets so we can buy, sell, trade, and transact crypto on the fly. And Ledger offers their premium crypto hardware wallet options like the Ledger Stacks and Flex devices with extra security layers. They're the first of their kind as a new crypto wallet category, which is a secure touchscreen featuring a full keyboard and keypad, making it super user-friendly. Ledger is offering our community the best discount available on the market that comes with $10 worth of free Bitcoin for a limited time. So be sure to scroll down and use links below to redeem all the special offers they have for us. Cool. Back to the five things the US should do. Four, this one we actually maybe have achieved. We need to go full-blown pro-crypto, embracing all aspects of it in order to encourage and foster innovation and encourage people, businesses, and money to flow into our country instead of fleeing it. We need to be completely open and accepting of all stable coins denominated in the US dollar because it would pretty much guarantee our status as the world's reserve currency. If people, countries, and businesses around the world are free to transact in the dollar in the form of stable coins on different blockchain networks, including decentralized ones that even the US government can't freeze or sanction, where anybody can use it, Without restriction, the threat of BRICS or alternative currencies taking over would pretty much be eliminated. Sweet. And five, this one may sound crazy, but it would be huge. We need to end taxation. Taxation is theft, it's a scam. Everyone believes it helps maintain roads, pays for social security, defense, etc. Look, we are printing money out of thin air. Most of that money is now just going towards the interest on our debt. Now even more so than military spending. Taxation is a form of control, it's designed to keep us poor. And even if all of these corporations or rich folks that evade taxes one way or another paid in, it would only be enough to fund our government for like three months at the rate we are spending. Taxation is a scam. We should do away with all taxes and we wouldn't be able to fathom the amount of money, commerce, talent, people, businesses, industry, etc., that would flood into our economy and make the US unstoppable. Awesome. 
If you would like to learn more about Tandrum Wallet and how it works step by step, check out this video. If you would like to see a full review of both Ledger Stacks and Flex devices and their extra security features, check out this video. And to get the best discount on the market, Ledger is offering our community with $10 free Bitcoin. Click on the link on the screen. Like and subscribe for more. Be safe out there.